Welcome to the Dare to Be Different podcast. <laughs> Come on, that was perfect. Keep going. I hope should I all you? of this should be recorded. All right, keep going. <laughs> okay, try again. Go ahead. Okay. You're listening to the Dare to Be Different podcast, a podcast for people who want to live an extraordinary life. On this week's episode, Joe and Alicia talk about raising the bar in your life. Enjoy. Welcome to the Dare to Be Different podcast. I'm Joe Altieri, no, and this no, is no. my co-host, the lovely, always pleasant, forever beautiful. Wow. What? So anyway, listeners, thank you so much for tuning in one more time to the Dare to Be Different podcast. I am Joe Altieri, and I am here with the lovely, the talented, the... The always enjoyable. Oh, you're sticking with this. This is it. This is it. Oh, all right. oh yeah, we're okay, on. Good. We're we're, we're going. Right, go with it. Yes. All right. I'm so not even is... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my wife Alicia is my co-host. <laughs> you're not even sorry. <laughs> I feel this is gonna be like one of those like you almost need like the the uh, record the needle going across it like the sound and then it like starts back over. Oh, okay. <laughs> But welcome to the podcast, everyone. We are so glad that you are spending the next 20 minutes of your life with us. We are going to make it worthwhile. I promise. The Dare to Be Different podcast is all about living an extraordinary life. Why don't you tell them the values that we incorporate into our lives to make sure that they are exceptional or extraordinary? All right. Well, thank you for allowing someone else to talk other than you. <laughs> this is going to be a, this is going to be a rough run, one, Brady. <laughs> wow. A little extra spice today. Yeah. Honest, passionate, adventurous, grateful, and healthy. I am grateful that you are here and apparently in a <laughs> spicy mood this morning. It's oh my goodness! <laughs> I just have to give you a hard time every I, once in a while. Every once in a while, I do need it. Every once in a while, just every day. Knock me down a couple, <laughs> couple, <laughs> couple, couple pins there, huh? <laughs> so. How are things going? Good. That's good. You? <laughs> I, all right. It's been a kind of a crazy. We've kind of been kind of crossing paths in the evenings here. It's been a kind of a crazy time for Flex Screen and Yep. You're uh, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. You know, you have um, made a big decision to uh, uh, shut down the the shop that that you were running, you know, that that your your father's um, mechanic shop. Yep. And so that has afforded you a lot more time. So now you're out like having fun with the grandkids and enjoying the last bit of summer the into the fall. Bits, yes. Yes. So it is. It's nice to um just have some time to regroup. Um, you know, I'm not completely like just unemployed now, <laughs> but um, you know, so just having one less full time job is good. That so, is that is good. Now your full time yeah. job is just giving me a hard time. So oh, yes, that, that is great. That is, I don't get paid for that one, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> so today I want to talk about raising the bar of your life. So raising the standards of your life, whatever, whatever portion of the life of your life that you want to look at, but raising the standards and how, how somebody can, can do that. So again, just using, using you and, and what you've gone through uh, over the past couple of weeks, as an example, you know, your you had a standard um, that was kind of miserable. You know, with with uh, going into the shop every day and and the pain that was associated with that and stuff like that. And you're like, look, this is not the standard of living emotionally um, or or physically. You know, going there and stuff like that 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 I want to have in my life. And it had become the standard. Like you went there every day, and and it was tough for you. And we did some some self reflection, you know, and family reflection, and said, ah, "This is this is not this isn't it. Like we have to do something different." Yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot more than you know just a couple sentences of a conversation, obviously. Um, but yeah, it was just it was just time, and you know, I was in the habit of just you know you go there every day because that's what you have to do because you have a job to do. Um, but realizing that it was not something that I even wanted to do um, when I was doing it, much less long term, um, was just something that kind of got reevaluated. 
Yeah, so. your your standard of happiness um, had diminished. We'd actually brought it down um, for you to be able to do that because you yeah. you know, and and now we're like, nope, nope, that has to. We have to get that standard back up. And and you know what we're talking about really is you know what is the what is the minimum standard in any area of your life that you're willing to accept. So whether that's relationships, whether that's um, happiness, whether that's financial, whether that's physical, whether whatever those things are, what is the what is the minimum that you are willing to accept? Uh, and that's a that's an interesting that's some interesting self reflection. <clears throat> it really is. Um, I feel like I cover so many different areas of life that um, hopefully, you know, people allow themselves to take a couple minutes to think about what do I want and what would I accept and what um I don't know what's the what's your standard of life look like um what kind of life do you want to live and does accepting something less continue to fulfill your vision of what you see happening with your life and your future yeah. um does it build it or break it yeah let's let's talk about something that is very, very obvious. Um, and I'm just going to tell on you a little bit. Oh, no, I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> so, so full disclosure, we go into these with very little conversation. So yes, this I, is I am prepared. all off the cuff. I, I am prepared, but you are. He you, definitely you, does some thinking <laughs> where he knows like what's going to happen and what story he's going to tell. And then I'm like blindsided in front of everyone. So it's a fun game. It, it is a fun game. <laughs> a fun I love game. this standard that yes, we have for okay. the podcast. Well, I think that I, you know, the beginning yeah. went the way that I. <laughs> <laughs> had set up for you and this is mine all right give it to me so we were running a little bit late for church this last this last week right i am um, never late <laughs> no, i don't know what you're talking never, about never 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 so a couple things number one you were doing your makeup and getting ready because you have a certain standard <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting somewhere. This is a really good point. You have a certain standard of the way that you want to look every time you leave the house. There's just, there's, you know, I see like the the people of Walmart posts, you know what I mean? Stuff yeah. like that. You will never be in one of those. Like you have a, I, I don't know. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you have, a, you have a certain minimum. Okay, let's just talk about for going to church. For going to church, yes. yes. Listen, ghetto girl comes out every once in a while and I do not look all put together if I'm like, you know, you look, needing to show you up You look somewhere. amazing today. Oh God, okay. So, I mean, but you have a certain <laughs> standard to come and be videotaped for, for our podcast, right? Yeah. So- um, but the, you know, we have, I have a standard for being on time. I always want to be somewhere five, 10 minutes early. Yeah. Right. So my standard is to be five or 10 minutes early. Um, and Mine is I, not. I am not willing to accept, I'm not willing to accept less than that. <laughs> you have a standard for how you want to look when you show up somewhere. Those two standards, you know, collided, com, a, little com, bit. collided yeah. a little bit. Not that it was bad. It was just kind no, of a funny story. Funny. But so... But there is, there, that is the, that's kind of what we're talking about. What is the absolute minimum that, that you're not willing to compromise past that point? Um, that is your standard. Um, and so again, if you're, if you're willing to, you know, go out and with no makeup on and sweatpants and, and go to church, that is your standard. Now, sometimes it will be better than that, but, but that's your standard. Like it's not going to be worse than that. Like it is the, it is the minimum that you're willing to, to accept. Part of the problem with with the human condition is the minimum that we are willing to accept a lot of times becomes our default mode, if, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, so if you're if you're willing to accept this, um, it's it's easier to accept a lower Re standard repeatedly. Yes, and and so that then that becomes your default mode, and it becomes very easy for then your standards to lower because now if sweatpants is your new accepted church gear, you know, for, for going to church, that one time where my standards of, hey, we have to be early, we have to be on time, um, and you're like, oh my goodness, well, now it's three-day-old sweatpants that is now the, the, the standard because you didn't have, what, what, I'm, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying you would ever do that, but it becomes very easy for us to accept less and less and less in our lives uh, if we don't have, if we're not willing to raise the bar um, raise our standards um, throughout our lives. Does that make sense? Sure. I just am not going to go to church in a prom dress. That <laughs> <makes sense. laughs> no, it does make sense. Um, you know, I, I feel like standards are good. Set standards are, you know, 
thoughtful set standards are probably a healthy part of, you know, the way you live life um, and measuring things against that and taking time to reflect on it is necessary as well. I'll give another, now this is a, a more pertinent example, like the one with us battling about getting to church on time oh, versus whatever. you looking we beautiful. We were late and it had nothing. Listen, my makeup <sighs> is a five minute face. So just full disclaimer there. I'm not going to be the girl. We were, we were five minutes in late. Front of the oh. Mirror, you know. So now I have a new standard whatever. apparently. Yeah. Five I, minutes I late is a new standard. I five minutes in front of a mirror to be fully ready. So that's okay. But let's Go talk ahead. about, let's talk about our finances. Oh gosh. So when we were in our, we got married very young. Um, yeah. And we pretty much spent 10 years. 19 through, and 20. Yes, we were 19 and 20. But we had, we spent a good eight to 10 years screwing up our finances as much oh, as we possibly could. Yeah. Right. So, however, in our late 20s, we defined a new standard for ourselves. Um, yes. And, and again, this was with outside influences and, and us doing research and, and all that stuff because. And digging ourselves out of a horrible hole. <laughs> yes. And, and, and so that was, you know, our new standard. That, that we created was to be debt-free other than our house and our car. Yeah. That's it. So, um, and we're even working on those now as we're, you know, into our 40s, we're making extra payment. We want to get completely debt-free. We right. want that to be our new standard. But when we worked ourselves out of the financial situation, the bad financial situation that we were in, we simply said, we're not going to have any new debt. It's just that simple. Like that is the new standard and we're not going to compromise on that. So right. we we do use credit cards, but they get paid off every single month. And if we can't pay them off um, for for a month, like that is catastrophic to yeah. us. Like we, it's very stressful. It's very very stressful. And we do we'll go down to zero spending to make sure that we we get those right. paid off. So we don't do ninety days same as cash. We're not we're not out there doing stupid things with our finances because we've set a standard saying we will not have debt other than our house and our car. That's it. Right. So, um, and again, we're, we're, once we get, you know, the car paid off, it will be, we're not going to have any debt other than our house. Like we're working towards new standards and raising that, that bar. Yeah. And, and it didn't, that's not like, oh, you know, we've always had so much money and so much wealth that we've, no, you know, <laughs> absolutely. It's actually it's, the exact it's, opposite. Uh, yeah. It's completely the opposite, um, situation. You know, we didn't, you know, none of us had, silver spoons in our mouths or anything like that when we were born so it was you know hard work and and stupid mistakes with you know finances for years and then digging out of that which made it made it even harder and tighter um budget wise and things like that to to achieve this new standard so right and you know health you know there's there's things with health uh, you have you have a standard that i i absolutely love every single day you take the dogs for a walk. Yeah. Rain or shine, it doesn't matter. Like it's it just you do it every single day. That is your standard. You're like, I'm going to go out, I'm going to get some fresh air, and I am going to walk for eh, it's about a half hour or so. Yeah. You know, every every single day. And that's just something that it's 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 gone beyond a habit. It is actually your new standard for your life. Um, you go for what like if we go somewhere else, like we, you know, we're we're traveling somewhere, you're out going for a walk that day. Um, and you know, we even talked about the winter time, you know, you, you're on the treadmill for, you know, 20 minutes, a half an hour, every single day. It's just, it's important to you as a standard that you've set and you're like, I'm not going to compromise that standard. Yeah. It's just, I mean, for me, it was, um, take the dogs for a walk because, you know, they were training and then it turned into, well, I actually enjoy this a lot. Um, and then it was, I just need to, I need for me to feel better, I need to be outside every day, you know, for any amount of time, I just need to be outside. Like I can't, I don't know. It just, I feel, I don't feel good if I'm not outside, um, for some portion of the day. So that at least like makes me get out. And, um, it was just something that, you know, through, through training dogs, you know, you kind of find out like, well, I actually, I actually really enjoy this. I feel better health wise. I feel better. You know, it just as mentally, it's good for me to just like feel, I don't know, I feel more, yep. I don't know, peaceful after I come in from being outside. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, grounded, maybe that's a thing. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about relationship. Again, we'll just give some examples here of standards that we have in our lives. You know, we have a standard in, in, in our relationship with our children that says that there is nothing that will happen with our children, our 
you know, our son and daughter-in-laws, et cetera, et cetera, that will harm the relationship to the point where they don't want to come over to our house anymore. Like that they don't choose to come and choose to hang out with us. Right. Um, you know, we don't do drama. We simply have decided, and again, this is years and years and years ago, where we said, we do not do drama. If we feel drama coming into our relationships, if we feel drama coming into our family, we get rid of it right away. We cut it out, we face it, we hit it head on, we have tough conversations. Mm -hmm. and, and then sometimes we make a decision to limit time with people that are that bring drama into our lives, where we just yeah. say, we can't be around that person very much because they create chaos in our lives. And, and this, this standard that we've created, which is drama-free life, mm -hmm. um, isn't something we're willing to compromise on. So if something comes against that standard, we are, you know, we're going to get rid of it, whatever way we have to, to do to make that happen. Right. I mean, it's, it is a, sometimes a tough decision because people that you love and care about just can't help themselves, um, but be dramatic. But when it's something that um, upsets your core and your house and, you know, you feel upset in your emotions and the way that you're, you know, this piece that you've worked hard to create in your life and your family and your home, you know, whenever something upsets that it was just, it's just, it's just not good. So, you know, it was just something that we had to get rid of and um, just kind of kill, you know? Yeah. So. And, and this isn't like temporary drama, something oh, crazy no. happens, a death, a uh, crisis. Yeah. That's listen, not what we're talking about. If you listen about. to the co podcast, you know, our lives are not like, you know, flatline and boring or anything. There's ups and downs and. But we're talking about peace in re the relationships. Peace in relationships um, and, and um, unnecessary chaos or, you know, um, I don't know harboring ill feelings to the point where you just, you know, can't move on from something yep. happening or something like that. You know, that's, that's more of the, um, I don't know, direction yeah. of it. And, and our listeners can, you know, I'm sure that even as we're talking about this, there's, there's, um, standards that they want to put in their lives, or maybe they're, they're able to identify where they have, their standards are so low that they need to reevaluate where those things are in, in their lives. Um, because I know a lot of people whose 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 standards are so low, they're willing to compromise so much on important things in their life, and you're just like, oh my goodness, like put a line in the sand, like and say, I'm not going to. There, there's nothing that is worth um, going past this line. You know, a, a marriage that is you know torn apart because somebody allowed themselves to go somewhere or do something that was that should have come up against that standard. Like, hey, I'm not going to do something that's going to hurt my spouse. And yeah. and so if they found out about it, you know, it would hurt my relationship to the point, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to raise that bar. And as a matter of fact, I want that to be higher and higher and higher. I want to live, as far as with, with my spouse, I want to live in a glass house. I want them to know everything. I, want, I don't want somebody to, to know more about me than, than you do, right. you, you know? And so how do I get that higher and higher? And, and it just seems like there's people that accept so little um, in their, their relationships and so little in their finance and so little in their health um, that it just feels, you know, it, it just, it pains me to, to watch some of our friends it, and family go through that. It does. I feel like it all, you know, comes down to self-esteem too and um, self-worth and valuing, you know, your own self that you would be able to say, I deserve better than this, you know, in so many different areas or or I want better than this for myself, even if you can't get to a point where, where you say you deserve it, you know, that you can say, I, I simply don't want this in my life. You know, I don't want to have a boyfriend, a spouse or whatever that cheats on me all the time. I, you know, I, de I deserve, I want better for myself. You know, I, I don't want somebody that makes me feel bad about myself that's, you know, one of my closest relationships you know, so you set that standard, you say, I want better for myself. And then you can eventually get to the point where you say you deserve better for yourself. Um, just different examples like that, that, you know, helps you to get to a place where you can say that you deserve it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have in my notes, it's uh, mm -hmm. people have low standards because they have limiting beliefs. So they have some belief about themselves, about their life, about their world, about their relationships, whatever the case may be. They believe something that is limiting them setting a high standard for their life. So I will always be bad with money. Again, I've heard people say that. 
people that we've actually helped. We've, we've gone yeah. through their bills and helped them to budget and, and work through the, the mess that they have been in because we, we've been there, done that. So, hey, we have some experience. Not saying right. we're experts, but we're, oh, no. we're, we're more than willing to help. <laughs> and like, I'm always bad with money. I always make bad decisions with money. I grew up with somebody who had made bad decisions with money. So they have this limiting belief that they will always be bad with money. I'm like, or the, you know, the boyfriend or girlfriend that they're with, I've heard them say, oh, I'm just a bad picker. You know, I just, I picked I the just wrong pick person. The bad guy. Yes. How is it that I just picked the wrong person? It's like, okay, let's go back to like the root of this. Why are you accepting this? You right. Know? So. Yeah. And, and how do you reframe that, that, that limiting belief into something that will help you raise your standards? You know, where, where you say, um, I grew up with a terrible example as far as how people spend their money. But I am going to be a great example for my children. And again, you have to start telling yourself that. You have to start believing that. You have to start acting because, because actions will stop. Like you can force yourself to do something for a little while. You know, I'm going to save, I'm going to save, I'm going to save. And so they start saving. And then they, because they haven't actually raised that standard, because they haven't created a new belief about themselves, because they haven't created something new about that situation they go back into the old habits and they they lower that bar right back down. So, you know, changing that that limiting belief, um, trying to figure out where it comes from yeah. and then getting rid of it, you know, really, again, facing it head on. Um, you know, uh, just using the drama. You know, my family loves drama. They do. <laughs> if you're listening, um, I'm probably going to get a text message about this because you're going to create drama based <laughs> off of this. However, you know, they love drama. They really, really do. And so, you know, when we were, you know, when we were um, learning how to be married through our first couple years, um, and I was so used to drama, and you were not used to drama, and we were trying to figure this out, I had to change the limiting belief. I thought that's how families were, you know? This is how families yeah. are. And if you love each other, you're loud, and you're passionate, and stuff like that. And there's like, nothing wrong with loud and passionate. We are those things, too. But, you know dramatic and and chaos unnecessary chaos is just not something that we do yes you know but and we love our family too. we do it's yeah I, like, that, that's yeah. not but but i had to change that limiting belief in my mind saying that isn't how a family has to look yeah you have to change your direction and what you what do you want and then you know shoot your arrows all in that direction you know get, get the rest of your life pointed in that way you know which is it's hard whenever it, you're at a point where it is difficult, even with your money, whenever you're saving up and you're like, I'm not going to spend beyond my means or whatever. Well, then you have this, you know, little nest egg of money and it's very tempting to go out and just spend it on this whatever, you know, but if your standard is higher, you know, you have to rely back on that standard instead of just this, well, I wanted to do better with money, but now I really want this thing, right. you know, I want to go spend it. And, um, you know, whenever it, it gets to that point where it's, you know, the tension is raised so far as you having to choose the fork in the road, you know, you've got to be dedicated to the standard being higher. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're almost out of time here, but one of the, one of the suggestions that I have um, for, for anybody that's listening and wants to take this and really internalize it is to start small, you know, start with something, you know, figure out something you know, you don't have to, like, if you're saying, hey, I want to, you know, my new standard is to weigh this much or to have this cholesterol level or whatever the case may be, you know, start small. Like, if, the, if you're, go this isn't a goal. Like, that isn't, that, that's not what this is. There's goals associated with this, but this is the minimum that you're willing to accept for your life. Yeah, so this isn't standard, where you want to be. This isn't, like, our standard is to have no debt other than our car and our and our house right that's our standard mm -hmm. our goal is to be completely debt free right you know so our our standard isn't to be debt free because we haven't reached that yet you know but our but but we reached a level and we said there's no going back we're not going back past that so whether it's your health your relationship um your your charitable work you know one of the things that again one of the things that we do is one of our standards is that we give money every month to charity um you know the amount is is irrelevant, but we give money every single month to to charity. It's it's something that we do, and that's a standard in our life. Uh, so there won't be a month that goes that we don't give money to to charity. So 
and and again, I'm not saying that to be. Uh, oh my goodness! Look at Joe, look, Alicia, and Joe about they. Oh, they give money away. Yeah, it's we just don't of, have life figured out. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just it's just to say that that we've kind of said we're going to do this again, whether it's a dollar or a, a million dollars. It's 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 really irrelevant. But every single month, our standard is we're going to to give more away. Our long term goal is to give more and more and more away. You know, we we want to be generous with with what we've been blessed with, but um, but our but our standard is much more realistic. So, you know, take baby steps, but then don't go back. This isn't a, this isn't a, uh, you know, two steps forward, two steps back sort of thing. This can be two steps forward and then ha- give yourself a little bit of leeway to go one step back. You know, hey, I'm going, to, I'm going to walk three days a week. You can go out there and walk five days a week. That's fantastic. But, but your standard is I'm going to walk three days a week. Um, so if you mess up, you're not beating yourself up. You know, it's just, hey, this is our new standard. And then if you go out there and you're like, hey, I'm going to walk every single day. I've, I've been doing it for months and months and months. That's my new standard. Fantastic. That's great. You've now raised the bar. So take baby steps, but don't go backwards. So any other any other uh, advice? Um, no, I think it's just all like just reflecting and reevaluating. It all comes back to the same sort of conversations that we've had lately of just, you know, what do you want out of life and where do you feel that your, you know, minimums are, but what are your maximums? What are you striving for? But what will you take as bare minimum, you know, in in any area? Um, And raise your standards, you know. Um, And if if the people around you aren't really fitting into that mold, then, you know, that's another evaluation that you have to make, you know. It is. And and this this can be every single part of your life. There are standards in every single part of your life, whether you want to look at them closely or not, but there are standards that you live by that um, that you have in every aspect of your life. Take a hard look at them and say, yeah. do I like these or not? Well, yeah. And I mean, they're there whether you acknowledge them or not. You know, yep. you just have to think about what they actually are, you know. Absolutely. So that's all the time we have do you want to do the sign off here since you, since you come on, tell everybody <laughs> okay. how important it is that they like this, uh, that they subscribe, that they share it with people that want to, to, to listen, that the people that need this in their lives, um, and then tell them that we love them and that we will see them next week. I think you already just did that. No, but you have to do it. Oh. It's the new standard. <laughs> I don't think it is. We love you. We care about you. We want nothing but the best for you. We want you to live an extraordinary life. Extraordinary life. life. Yes. (laughs) Raise your standards. High standards. Yes. Raise the bar. Live a better life. Like this. Share it. (laughs) You got it. We do love you. We will catch up with you next week. Thank you for putting up with us this week. Hope you got something amazing. (laughs) Thanks. (laughs) 